Okay, for the gadget today, I use a little pick processor, which is shown right here, and um, basically creating a, both a filter and a time delay out of a little um, processor. And this is a little DC to DC converter, which steps the voltage down from the bike's voltage of 12. 12 volts when the ignition's off to about 13.3 when it's on. Steps that down to 5 volts for the circuit. And then inside here is a micro switch inside this little 3D printed thing I have here. There's one of these on the hinge of the gold wing. And basically, as you notice, as I tilt this, it is going to, this is going to be on a hitch, uh, hinge that's on the back of the gold wing trunk. And um, what I want it to do is light up a light. So this is a simulation of the light there. And it seems pretty simple for light to come on when this little mercury switch gets tilted. One of the problems is, as I'm going down the road, even though this will be facing down in a way to keep it off, you're still going to hit bumps. And when you hit those bumps, in a normal circuit, if I just would have drove this directly to the LEDs from the bike through this um, mercury switch, what would happen is you would get... Um, the light would come on anytime you hit a bump that was enough to cause the mercury to bounce up and hit the contacts. So what this circuit does is it delays the starting of that voltage to go out to the LED strip. So if you watch this, when I turn this over, you're going to see that there's a slight delay in that light coming on. I have it programmed down for about three quarters of a second. And that's going to act as a filter. The um, thing I want to show you is up here on this oscilloscope. I'm trying to get the switch in here. That yellow line on the oscilloscope is connected to the basically the mercury switch and the voltage going into the DC to DC converter. So as I shake this, you can see that line. If I can get this back far enough. And what you're seeing is the power coming on comes on instant. It's pretty much, that's why you're seeing on the left side of the signal, it's a straight up to the um, voltage. Um, but the, the decreasing is the caps basically bleeding off um, as the power is removed. But what's interesting to see is I'm going to do the same thing now. I'm going to shake this. And you do see an occasional, if I shake it a lot of times, it's allowing the rail to stay high, but typically you're going to hit one bump. And as you can see there, you're not seeing the light come on. But on the oscilloscope, every time I shake it, you're seeing that go high. And if I shake it a bunch of times, basically it's going to, because of the way it decades, the power decades down, it's going to allow that light to come on. Um, I could increase the time of that, but I don't want to have a big long delay when I open the trunk of the Goldwing. So, um, as you can see when I shake this, it's filtering out most of them. So if you're going down a bumpy road, you're not going to be powering that LED on. If you hit a really bumpy road, you will get occasional lighting of that, but hopefully I'm not going to be on those kind of roads. Then the other thing that this circuit provides is a um, delay or I should say an auto off feature that if I leave the, the lid of the gold wing open for 10 minutes this circuit will eventually shut itself off after that 10 minutes has passed and then the process will go to sleep and it'll it'll keep me from running the battery totally dead so and I'll probably redo this circuit this one I just soldered up by hand um, it's not pretty but it'll get it'll get the thing working and it's more or less a proof of concept I will um, do a better circuit later and be a much smaller one. Um, but um, anyway, it's kind of a neat little gadget to make. 